this took place in around last day uh, of school before Christmas break. You know, the two week long break, everyone's favorite, including my own. So, um, you can imagine that when there's any sort of delay, you get a little bit annoyed. You're like, oh, that's annoying. Because, you know, you want to go home, play video games, do whatever you want, you know? For two weeks, too. That's it. Like, you can't really wait. So, during winter time, there's a bunch of delays, especially with public transit. In my school, my school is a little far. I go to train to get to my school. Why? Because I live far. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I had to ding him at the last second. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, yeah, so the bus got delayed at the train station. Because at the train stations here in Canada, um, I don't know if this is normal, because I, I haven't really gone to any other country and uh, on their transit. So I don't really know. But on the train stations here, all the buses uh, go to the train station, and there's a little panel that tells you when the estimated time that they are going to arrive. So, it said 10 minutes. I was like, okay, so I'll wait 10 minutes. And, uh, I was waiting for the same bus with this other guy. We were both waiting by the sign. And we just kind of chilling, right? Um, a couple seconds passed, or a couple 10 minutes passed. And uh, I go to check the thing again, right? Because it's like, what the heck? Um, nice job. Uh, I wanted to go check the thing to see, like, oh, how much closer is it? And, uh, there was an old guy next to me, and he wanted to know as well. There. So he went, saw it, and said another ten minutes. I checked the time, and I was like, well, I mean, this is obviously some sort of delay. So, long story short, we waited an hour, right? And this guy is, like, mad, because obviously, you're gonna, <laughs> an old guy, you're just trying to, you don't have much patience anymore, right? You've gone through it all, and the last thing you need is like an hour long delay when you're sitting next to some random teenager. So, we're waiting, and uh, this man starts swearing. He's like, what the hell? I, you know, I, this is not what I paid for. Um, la la la, man's angry, swearing as much as he can in a comprehensible language. Um, sorry, in a congruent sentences. Um, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> But uh, he was, you know, mad. Fair. So I was like, okay. And he noticed that I wasn't very upset. So I think after seeing that, he kind of chilled a bit. So the man chilled. We talked a little bit. I thought he was a teacher because he described, like, I asked questions because that's how you converse with people. Converse with people. Um, converse. That's a, that's a huge converse with people. You ask questions, do whatever. Especially people you know. I'm bored. I'm not gonna pull out my phone. I'm, I don't like doing that. I don't know. It feels really wrong. Especially the old people, they don't like it. So I was like, why do it? You just get funny. So, um, I actually try and spend a lot of time on my phone. Even though I have it. Probably just because, you know, I do know that uh, a lot of things happen. Like, I'm very unaware. If, if I'm not, like, actively aware of things, I will not see them. If there is a cat, if there is a cat, I will not notice if I am on my phone because I'm just unaware of everything. So usually when you're alone in you know, public areas, you don't want to be on your phone. So I'm waiting. We talk a little bit. I ask him like, about the train because he seems to know a lot about the train. So I'm like, what do you, uh, what do you do for a living? Because he really looked. He sounded like a teacher. Man. He explained it as if like a really easy way, easy to understand way. He called it like an octopus and things like that. Obviously, the way I'm gonna say it isn't gonna make as much sense. You gotta be there to get it. Um, but it was very interesting to see the way he did it. It was really nice. He threw some wisdom at me, which was very, very kind. We went on the bus together and finally arrived. He was in a chill mood, he didn't really say anything to the bus driver. Um, I sat with him on the bus.
people and if you you know understand who they are really if you can get a gist of them before you um before you converse with them too much then uh then you're good to go can you like not dude i'm trying to have like a heartwarming moment and this guy's like um uh let's quickly ruin the moment let's quickly he doesn't know what's going on obviously but still he's being annoying get out of here get out of here get Get you twerked on me? I'm done. As of editing this video, I only have one sub. So please sub as each one really makes a difference. And with that, I will see you tomorrow.